What up, YouTube? Team Moose here, and happy Friday 13th. Now, here is my review for another Friday 13th film, and that is Friday 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. Alright, the film is a bit, uh, the film's title is a little bit misleading, because Jason does not even, they don't even get to Manhattan until, like, towards the end. So, I always found the title to be misleading. Now, the movie did not really get well received by critics or even audience. I believe it has, like, an 8%, like, it's probably the uh, lowest grossing out of the Friday 13th uh, films. Well, this time around, uh, you have, uh, you guys Kane Hodder portraying the role of Jason, which, by the way, I didn't mention this in uh, the last one. I believe, uh, I believe, uh, Kane Hodder made his debut as Jason in, like, uh, A New Beginning, if I'm not mistaken. But this time around, you had, uh, Kane Hodder, who, you know, there's been so many actors who portray Jason Voorhees over the years. Kane Hodder is the best one to portray him. He really, uh, you know, embodied the role of Jason. He played that role perfectly. I mean, I, who just does not love Kane Hodder? And so, like, this time around, you got Jason who ends up... At the beginning, he ends up, you know, killing these uh, two uh, camp counselors and, you know, how uh, that happens. And then, of course, he ends up uh, going on a... Uh, he ends up boarding a ship uh, that is heading to... Uh, that is heading um, to New York City and... And you got like uh, this um, college uh, teacher who's like pretty much uh, heading to New York City with his uh, classmates, including uh, his uh, daughter as well. And the lead actress who played his uh, daughter, I forgot her name. Um, I thought she was pretty decent. I mean, there's also some really cool kills here. Probably my favorite kill has got to be when uh, when that dude was, you know, like fighting, well, was like boxing Jason or and. Uh, Jason Voorhees pretty much, you know, uh, gets his um, next punch and then pretty much punches the dude's head right off. I'm like, that is definitely one of the most creative kills I've ever seen in a, um, in a Friday Night Team If I do like my 10 favorite Friday Night Team kills, that kill would definitely be in that list. And of course, he's end up having some other pretty cool uh, creative kills. I mean, Friday Night Team Jason, uh, Jason takes my hand. I always got kick out. It's fun. It's entertaining. I mean, when they're on the bo uh, ship um, scene, it's pretty cool to watch. I mean, Jason ends up pretty much traveling to uh, the scene with him in Times Square is pretty cool. I mean, the scene with him and uh, these like uh, hillbilly uh, New Yorker type characters. I mean, when he ends up show revealing his face to these uh, to these wannabe characters was pretty cool uh, to watch. I mean, the kills in this thing did not hold back. I mean, Jason even uh, puts a guy's head in a uh, freaking acid. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, Jason Takes My Hat is so darn fun to watch. It's entertaining. Like I said, the reviews wasn't so great. It has like an eight, like an eight percent of Rotten Tomatoes. And the box office numbers wasn't all that great either. But I always got kicked out. It's more of a guilty pleasure of mine, but yeah, I really thought it was pretty fun. Anyway, let me leave it to you guys. Uh, have you ever seen um, Friday 13th, Jason Takes My Hat? If so, what you thought of it? Were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? What some of your favorite kills in it? What some of your favorite moments? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Timur Sayo.